Hi, Grace. This is Jess with your one week general read for November 2022 from the 1st to 7th of November. Hope, hope, hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. If you're interested in the two month future predictions read, check it out in the description box below. There you'll find the rest of November and December. If you guys want to get a head start on what's coming up this month and next month do check out the description box below for those of you who are interested in the extended love portion of this read yes there will be an extended love portion we'll look at your person you'll find all the questions that we go over in the description box below and at the end of the read we will do an all sign so if that sounds like something you're interested in do check that out as well in the description box Let's get into your reading well first week of november guys you are coming in and feeling like you're in a sweet spot. You're in a really good spot. You're getting a lot of attention, all for the right reasons. People are noticing you. If you notice, then you maybe notice that people are noticing you. Um, you kind of can't do much wrong right now. And some of you could feel very giving because the spirit could be on you. You may be feeling very giving to others as others have given to you or you people may easily give to you those dates phone calls um, whatever you're asking for for some of you you can get it you can get it but the main part on your mind I do feel one of the more major things on your mind is walking away from a situation uh, this first week of November. You're going to be holding back and walking away, trying to let something go once and for all. You do wish the person the best if this is something about love. Um, and you you kind of are bowing out gracefully, not with drama, strife, issue but you're bowing out. I do feel like some of you will be reminiscing about a particular person who you may still be fond of and them you, uh, but it's just time to move on. And some of you will be working on doing just that. Uh, the What you don't see coming the first week is going to be trying to do something or kind of building yourself up to pull something off and then saying, well, actually, no, you may have, feel like I have all my ducks in a row. I know exactly how I'm going to approach this. Oh, I know what I could do. But then you find yourself kind of stuck at a crossroads and at a, you know, a pathway, not knowing exactly should you pull the trigger, should you not? And if you do, then you'll be questioning all the way up until it's whatever you've done is proven if that was the right thing to do. So your reactions or how you feel about something that's happening or the ability to do something out of nowhere, it makes you feel a little bit hesitant, um, second guessing yourself, and you'll keep it on your mind for quite some time. Um, I do feel like if it's anything about this walking away from someone or something, you will still have that on your mind and, and, and thinking the what if, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Some of, some of you may be going through that. Work looks pretty good. You will find that work is pretty peaceful this week. Not much to talk about. Um, some of you may have your eye on a particular person at work than you. But I feel like work is just really quiet. Even if you want a shakeup at work or you want a little bit of action it's not really nothing happening this week at work. For those of you who are looking for work, you may find that you're being low-balled um, for salary out there. You may feel like a slim pickings, the quality positions out there. Uh, but you do feel like eventually you're going to get something that works just well for you. And you'll know it as soon as you interview with this person, whoever this person is, wherever you're going to be led to, because this speaks to destiny, right? So wherever you're led um, and you're being forced to go, you'll know this is it because you will have an immediate connection with the hiring person, the interviewee, the acquisitionist, all of those things, right? So there you go. Um, work or your business first week of November looks pretty okay. You have more money coming in and I do feel like where you guys may have been very stubborn, stuck in your ways, not really open for change or... Um, adjustments uh, which is weird that Aquarius is a fixed sign and they're ruled by Uranus that's pretty interesting however you will be adding something new to your business you'll get your your energy your zest your zeal back for your business and you may be even up to making some adjustments and changes to your business as well okay so I do see that some of you are going to be putting more energy effort and time into your business and that's what I have for you guys for generals now let's look at love 
Okay, so Aquarius lazy ladies, the first week of uh, November, you are coming across confrontational, problematic, drama filled, um, doing too much, uh, t- impatient, rude. You can come across all the things, right? Um, Half ass, just a little too too aggressive. You can, you, ladies, you can come across a little bit too aggressive here. I do see an ex who um, is focusing more on work. Um, hold on. They may feel like you focused a lot on work. They, yeah, they're using work and other things to get over the distance between the two of you. Uh, missing you, the heartbreak, the pain, um, the separation. No matter wh- whose fault it is, they're using work to kind of get over it. And it's like they're getting in a better place for themselves, your ex. Uh, the challenge for you... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me, Aquarius. The challenge for you this week, ladies, is being a little too, I don't, I don't, this is aggressive. You, this is coming across as you're just being too aggressive, um, too much. But I feel like you're kind of just attracting too little of person. And hopefully it's, well, I don't know if it'll be literal, but you will be attracting too little of a person, someone who wants just a good, good time. And some of you could be calling people out um, where it should just be a real lackadaisical chill vibe. Um, some of you ladies might um, create some strife or some arguments here. Some of you could even be accused of being flaky in and out, c- canceling on people, not telling them like just flaky in and out it's all about you that sort of thing so there's opportunities for dating for some of you who are dating uh people may look at you and say oh she's this and that but this is their energy so (laughs) you know maybe they just feel like it's just too you're too much to handle that's what i see first week of november getting out doing your own thing and people feeling like you should be ashamed of that uh, Aquarius single men first week you have her on your mind mm-hmm. how are you showing up to women um, like a woman <laughs> like you're easy easy to be loved some of you could be talking about a woman uh, it may be very apparent that there's a woman that is still very much a part of your life um, and that you care deeply for her um, some of you you may come across as someone that can easily be loved Um, And even your lovable side to you, if you are opening up to people, they're finding you to be more sensitive and um, more soft (laughs) for some of you. Really, your ex uh, thinks about what could have been between the two of you. Uh, They still think now during Scorpio season, what could have been, what might we would have been type of thing. Even though they're focusing on money and more practical things, they do think. Um, if things could have been better between the two of you, where would that have taken the two of you? Challenge here is going. So for some of you, you may not be able to make it, um, make it on time. You may not be able to make a date. You may have car trouble. This could be anything with communications or transportation that could be problematic with you and another person or others. Because I do see this being the month that or the week. And in fact, that you go out, spend some time with someone. It just may be difficult to get to one another. That may be an issue. Um, Someone's car might break down. Communications breaking down could be the problem here. But nonetheless, you seem to be ripe for dating and having a great time. That's what I have for singles. Let's look at couples. Okay, so Aquarius, the person on your mind, it looks like you do love them. You have an immense amount of love for them. That's what it looks like to me. This person may not realize just how much you do love them um, or how much you, re- you No, this is your feeling. So this is you may feel like this. You love this person and you want to work things out. They may not be speaking to you. You may not be communicating and opening your mouth and saying things, but you do feel very strongly for your person. You definitely love them um, or you love to be loved by them. Your challenge is making a decision to work on this situation together. 
And and there needs to be either a decision that we're just going to do it or um, I'm going to come to you. You're going to go to me. We're going to figure this out and sit down and kind of work it out so that it all really works for us so that we can stay together. Because there's some challenges with staying together, maintaining this relationship and really building and growing together. Even though the two of you may have tried many times or one of you have tried uh, many times to try to make this work. How do you see them as someone who's very confused, who may have been here, there, everywhere, who at times you felt like you really did not trust or understand? Um, this person may have been conflicted a lot emotionally. They didn't know if they wanted to stay. They didn't know if they wanted to go. They didn't really know what they wanted. They didn't know if they could really be um, faithful if they were in, were not that sort of thing so this person was kind of all over the place or that's how you see them now so you see them as someone who's all over the place I get a restless soul so someone who's never really satisfied with life and is always here there everywhere and just kind of needs to be more practical and less emotional less passionate about things and someone who hides money or someone who hides behind things what do you want them to know? You're holding back or you, for some of you, you're starting to get a full understanding, a full understanding of who, what's going on here, how you feel, your feelings, how you see the situation in this relationship, um, that the two of you have a love that goes decades or lifetimes or there's children involved and there's a significant connection here uh, that you realize is really significant and that makes you want to kind of try it again and see where things can go if the two of you can work things out or if it's worth taking the person back it's worth doing it again because that is where your happiness lies it's like you feel like on your own you're happy you're satisfied but together there's a level of happiness that um, is only felt in, in like a group form that you get with this person and everyone else that comes along with them or the connections that the two of you have made together with others. So there's a sense of you needing or feeling like you really um, care deeply for your person and you've taken a lot of time, it seems, Aquarius, in thinking through what is important to you and it seems to be this person okay um your next actions will be kind of the be the same in some ways like you may give your person um some attention at first couple of days or at the very beginning um some of you may affirm feelings here with your person but deep down inside you're not so sure you're not um, deep down inside, I feel some of you, you're here, there and everywhere. So you may not have a whole lot of time to give this person. Some of you may not even know what you feel anymore, but it's kind of like put, putting a placeholder there, putting on your feelings or until you could really figure things out. I know I was saying just a minute ago that you guys really do care about this person. You do. Um, what is this? You're not sure about this love. You're not sure because, because either this person has outside people, you may get around a bit, so it's hard for you to settle down. You could hide behind work and other things um, to get you uh, get you out of this person's get get this person out of your hair. Um, but it's becoming too much of a burden. So you're going to have to make a decision if it is you. Um, some of you, you're realizing that you really want um, happiness and you're really starting to take a look at whether happiness is what you are going to have with them is what it's possible to have with this person. You're really taking a fine look at that because you don't want to be stuck in something toxic and just unhealthy and find yourself spinning your wheels. So I do feel like right now you're taking your time. You're trying to get a full understanding of the pros and the cons of this relationship. Um, and it looks like you're still, you know, same as usual on your side of things. But you're definitely thinking about um, all the little intricacies of this relationship and 
um, your person. That's what I have for you, Aquarius. If you're interested in looking at your person and all about them as it relates to you, do check out the description box for the link to the extended love portion uh, where we'll ask your question, the, all the questions um, for your person. It's in the description box below. You'll see the questions that we ask. And at the end, we'll do the all signs. So that's what I have for you guys. Um, otherwise, if you are new to the channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Aquarius.